Hey guys, Josh Hatcher here for manlyhood.com and uh, we're doing a web series here and it's called More Than a Mustache, What Makes You a Man? And uh, I've had some help putting this list together from my 14 year old son who uh, we're just sitting there and I'm making my list and planning out my year's worth of blogging and I'm saying, son, um, what is it that makes you a man? And we had a really good talk and uh, got some really good insight. Um, I'll say this guys, I think that one of the the characters, the character qualities that makes you a man is mentorship. And I think it goes two ways, and I think every real man recognizes it. Um, I love the fact that men is in the word mentorship because real men mentor and real men are mentored. I want you to think about, um, you know, what it means to be a mentor to somebody. You know, do you give back? Do you help people that are younger than you or that are maybe not quite in the same place you are to to learn and grow you know and are, are you at the same time connected with people that help you learn and grow uh, a good buddy of mine uh, hit the age of like 21 22 and uh, he says man I'm just I'm just so frustrated with life I feel like like I don't have any friends I said, dude you've got lots of friends he goes no but I don't have any friends my own age and that's when I said look I think we all hit this point it's about the time that we would get out of college. I would prefer that it happens earlier because if it happens earlier, I think we uh, we skip that whole mess of college uh, frat boy and uh, we can jump right into men manhood. You know, if we do that. Um, but uh, I think the key is something happens in your friendships, and you used to have a whole bunch of friends the same age as you, but when you have friends that are 10, 5, 10, 15 years older, 5, 10, 15 years younger, those are your friends. Why those age gaps? Because you know what? If they're 5, 10, 15 years older than you, then they can mentor you. They can teach you. They can help you see and learn uh, from their experiences so that you don't make the same mistake and that you make the right choices that they made because they're speaking into your life and they're teaching you and they're training you. And um, honestly, it doesn't have to be formal either. It doesn't have to be, will you be my mentor and will you teach me? No, you just have friends that are older and that, have, that are wiser. You know, you want to know how to do some plumbing under your kitchen sink? It helps to have a friend that knows how to do it. I'm not even talking about, you know, this deep spiritual metaphysical stuff. Well, I am, but not just that stuff. I mean, you know, you, you want to know how to change the battery in your car and you never learn how to do it? Guess what? If you know somebody older than you, they can help you do it. And at the same time, you can be that person for somebody else, you know, uh, identify the people in your life and they're going to fluctuate and they're going to change and you might scare people off, but identify the people whom you can mentor. Now, don't be bossy. Don't be, um, demanding and don't be like, I'm going to mentor you. You need somebody to take you under their wing. No, I think it best happens when what they feel from you is that you're a friend. Uh, because doesn't it, feel that way with you wouldn't you rather that the people that are older you just feel like a friend who just happens to give you some good advice that's what you need to be in the lives of the people younger than you so i, I just want to talk about that that you just say that you know mentorship is important i think it's a mark of manhood when a man is mentored and can be a mentor so uh take your post-it note out yeah i i, I can't, don't do this every week but i like the idea get your post-it note out get your pen and i want you to write on it uh, a list of your friends uh, you know, divide that post-it note right in half and write on one side, I want you to write people that are older than you that you look up to that you would consider a mentor. And I want you to find a way to connect with them and spend a little bit of time with them. Ask them questions and learn from them. I want you to look on the other side of your list and I want you to make a list of some people that are younger than you that, um, that you can help and be a friend to them and you can be available to them when they have questions and you do that put it on your on your uh, your mirror and when you go to brush your teeth don't go to the mirror to shave <laughs> when you go to brush your teeth you can see that list and you can think about those guys and you know if you're a spiritual person you can say a prayer for them or you can uh if you're not a spiritual person you can still make a point to connect with them and re be reminded of them and think about them and try to learn from them and try to teach them also let me just say this just because somebody's younger than you doesn't mean they can't teach you. You may actually have a mentor that is younger than you, but maybe he's better at something than you. You know, I, I, let's look at social media, for example. Let's say you need to do social media for your business. You might find that the 21-year-old kid right out of college, the frat boy, can teach you what you need to know about social media. So he could be your mentor in that particular area. So, you know, the lines do blend and they do, they are fuzzy.
You know, we're not talking black and white here. So just keep that in mind and think about that. Make sure you make your post-it list, your post-it note list, and stick it on the mirror so you can you can pay attention to it in the morning. Um, this is the fifth part of our uh, More Than a Mustache series, What Makes You a Man, and we'll have more of it coming up next week. Thanks, guys.